So I'm Eric Danielson. I'm a naturalist with the Western New York Land Conservancy. I love getting up here to the Adirondacks to measure trees. This is the largest living white pine that has been recorded um, in kind of absolute terms. The volume of this tree, and this will be a little bit low because there's a lot of heavy limbs in the crown that we weren't able to include in this, um, but it's somewhere around 1400 cubic feet. The first part that we measure usually is the girth, and you do that by taking a tape measure. It's got a little hook on the end, and um, you determine the correct diameter at breast height point. So then you uh, take a laser rangefinder, um, which shoots an infrared laser beam at a target, and it bounces back and you get the distance to that target. We use another optical device along with the rangefinder to uh, measure the diameter of the trunk, but you're calculating the 3D volume of that trunk in sections and then adding those sections together. So I found this tree um, based on some tips I got from an outdoorsman and a uh, person who's really interested in the regional history, Matt Kane. I downloaded the LIDAR data from New York State and processed that to make a map of the canopy. And the canopy map showed that there were, you know, hundreds of acres of really tall trees. Looks like our, our round trip walk to get to the big tree was about 3.8 miles and uh, walked through the old forest as well as the young forest that had blown down next to it because it was a little easier walking um, until we got to the big tree. So at 1400 cubic feet or more, this is by a good margin, um, the largest living white pine we know of.